Kingfury, My spaces. Right? Yeah, that's a thing. Okay, so we're gonna we're right. gonna be bringing up Cody Moran on the gate. Cody Moran on the gate and versus Iman uh, Mama Tamamed. I don't know his last name. Iman Mama? on Nick uh, Fit. Yeah, I, something. I believe it's just a green black Nick Fit. This is Evan Nyquist's deck, I believe. Is he borrowing Evans? Yeah, you, you want to? I can scoot up for you. I'm I'm sure they love man ass. <laughs> Apparently Mike On is staring at many man ass up in San Francisco. He's in, yeah, he's right in now. San Fran. <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna do 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 do. Okay, right. There's the fold into the Aether, the yes. card that is part of the mono blue combo deck that is here tonight. How did you do, by the way? Did you? He had a lot of counters. Okay. He just had more yeah. counters than I had spells. Especially so I when lost. like your main combo spell is a did you counter. You play cousin as well. Anthony. Okay. Yeah. You. Yep. This matchup can't be fairer if it tried. That is true. Both of these decks are <laughs> incredibly underpowered, for lack of a better way to put it. <laughs> um, Nick Fit is a deck that is based upon Cabal Therapy and Veteran Explorer, kind of ramping into your bigger threats. So you're playing things like, you're playing six drops at times. You're playing Primeval Titans, maybe playing Grave Titans. Um, one of your best control cards, you're playing Pernicious Deed to wipe the board. It's a very powerful card. Um... I believe in the current Deed. meta, though, it's not as good just because there's not a lot of like mid-range creature decks to really prey upon. I, pl I played it a few weeks in a row, uh -huh. and so some of the best lines were Siege Rhino. You play four yeah, Siege yeah, Rhino now? Yeah, you make a 4-5 that gains life. You're just like, like, Delver decks can't be Siege Rhino in a million years. You just play Siege Rhino and you attack, oh, and no, you outclock them right. and you gain life. I mean, I totally agree with you, and it d the deck should absolutely annihilate a Delver deck. However, nobody plays Delver up here. No, oh, I mean... So, you need to reset the life totals. I'm, I'm working names. on that. We're, uh, we're working on that, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, are we going to give these guys time extensions? Because, okay, we're sitting at four minutes in the round here. Yeah, we're going to we'll do it. I make the call. Um, we have I, the gate versus Nick Fit. I believe, I mean, if they're going to time, it's going to be really hard for either of these guys to finish the game. Uh, Cody is going to be here on your left, I believe, and Iman is on the right. So, I believe you have them in the wrong place here. Oh, well, there's this handy thing there's that says swap. Swap. I would press that button. Okay, so there we go. We have the TCG state champion of modern here, Cody Moran. He won with Martyr Proclamation Martyr Rebirth. Martyr Proc! It was, <laughs> Dick was really so bad. fun to watch. I, I was sitting next to him the whole time I rode up with him, and I had to sit there the whole tournament after I dropped in round three, watching him crush people with Wrath of Gods. It was actually pretty awesome. Yeah, so Iman is playing um, uh, Evan's deck, so there are going to be some Black Border Duels. Black Border Duels. We yeah, like he those. really won with Martyr Proc. He, so he he, I think I think okay. he owes his whole win to Justin Parente. Parente, Parente. He, <laughs> Parente beat him, but Parente had to go somewhere. To dinner. Yeah, so dinner. So he gave him the win in round three after Cody would have been X2, and Cody ran the table and won the tournament. So technically, you know, he lost a game, but... You know, whatever happens, happens. He got there. That's what matters. He, um, I believe his top eight, he beat... His first round in top eight, he beat Infect. Okay, so, okay. I'll, we'll talk about that later. We'll so, we get the match going. So, we open on a death right. Ooh. Him and Torok from Cody on Him Iman. is very him powerful. Is, him is powerful in these fair matchups. Oh, he only has four cards in his hand, too. So, this yeah, is... Yeah, he mulligan, so... This is great. Right, we're going to roll fives forever. Um, so, we hit one. One, two, two three, four, four, six. four, five, six. Yep. So one hit that first card. So we hit a sword spot. Swords and a Rex, Rex Sage. Age. Okay. I don't think either the Rex Sage Rex is probably Sage. good against uh, the GT. Okay. Whatever Rex that's no, worth I mean, in the I, matchup. I mean, it's fine. I, I just I'm surprised to see the card in general in this deck. Usually, I see things like Acidic Slimes or Idric Stomp Hollers or Wicker Ball Elders as a card that I see. A lot. I like Wicker Ball. Wicker Ball. He's a big man. Doesn't die it, to anything. But it, the swords. problem is you have to have mana activate him. Yep. It's not just like you you Come green sun play. and kill things. Well. Yeah. That's uh, that's why I like Rex Sage in the deck. And it's a three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can three. So threes against Miracle or what, like, counter battle or, um... It, wait, Wicker Ball? No, I'm talking oh, about... Oh, Rex Sage. Yeah, Rex Sage, yeah, yeah. the yeah, bonuses. Yeah. So Rex Sage yeah, only gets countered off a counterbalance with Click or Council Judgment, which are two of the least played cards, like, ones right, and twos right. in the decks. So you might be able to snag a, a thing. Right. He's okay. going to go in Wasteland. Wasteland the White Bayou. Water Bayou. Cody will activate his Scavenging Ooze. Okay, Death Rite. He's going to hit Nug him for two. See, I think you want to eat your Rex Sage there, right? Or you just don't want it, you want to keep your graveyard open maybe to maybe he's got like an e witness to bring it back or something. Okay, so they're playing pretty quickly here, so we're gonna try to keep up the best we can. 
They're missing. They're, um, the cunning wish is an ammo. So he untaps. He's got three mana. He's going to attack with Grizzly Scavenging Ooze. Before damage, but he'll probably three. eat his own thing to get in the damage. Because at this point, it's not really an attrition matchup. You're trying to win before the time. Yeah. So, and the so, best... I, I actually contributed to the... The, the, the gate deck, Cody was going to use White Border Mismatched uh, Revised Lands, uh, yes. and I happen to have these the, Sean O'Brien specials. Yeah, the uh, good old Chinese swamps. Or are they Japanese? I'm not Those sure. Are, they're a mix because I don't have enough of each. You're a scrub. I, I agree. So we have... You so he gained 20 so he go So he gained 20. He gained one off of his... Uh, Cody flips Revoker, goes to 18. Revoker is probably going to come down and name Scavenging Ooze, right? Yeah, I think Scooz is probably... I mean, at this point, like, it's a 3-3, so Revoker, I'm assuming, is naming Scavenging Ooze. In response, Iman's going to activate his death right. And for then, two. I believe... Okay, so he's going to name death right with it. So, okay, so he's trying to mana... Cut him on mana. Because Iman, I believe, missed a land drop last turn. And he got wastelanded, And he so. got wastelanded, so he's trying to cut him on mana. Um, I mean, it seems like a fair plan. Like, now he's just got Squire, which... I guess the Squire can still attack. Like, it's not a good trade for Cody either way. So we're going to turn zero here. Well, uh, I think we're going to give him a time extension. Give him a couple minutes. I, okay. I think BJ's going to go check and see how long that's going to be for us. Okay, so uh, he's just going to attack with his dudes. Cody doesn't really have a block that he wants to make here. We're going to have a three-minute okay. time extension. I think trading the Revoker with the Death Rite might be fine, because you want to get the Death Rite off the table so that Scavenging is the only man, and he can like, go like a Gatekeeper kick tier to sacrifice the Scavenging Ooze. So instead, he just chooses not to block. He's going to flip Jite off of Bob. Jite is a powerful. Hopefully, Cody will have the the fourth mana source, I believe. So he just drew a swamp. So he's probably going to go Jite equip here and hope it's good enough. And I mean, I believe Iman probably doesn't have anything to interact. Or else, if he had Decay, he would have used it on the Bob way earlier. So the Jite has got two counters. Um, I believe at this point it's going to be very difficult for Amon to actually do 20 damage and kill Cody in time here. And I believe Cody is just, he's making land drops, he's got cards in hand, looks like he has a lot of swamps. And a him to Torok, but I mean Bob is going to draw a million cards. Oh, that's a pack rat in hand. So Cody has pack rat lands. So next turn he's going to be able to go pack rat pack activate. Rat. Which is pretty You guys powerful. thought it was over. You guys thought the mono black standard was over? No, we're playing Pack Rat and Legacy now. Yeah, yeah. The only thing we're missing is Lifebane Zombies. He's gonna okay, so we're going to no. Oh, block. yeah. Okay, so he's trying to preserve his life total. Just leave him on with a Squire, which doesn't do anything here. So we went in. Okay. Oh, so we're going to have mana. Crack the fetch here. Amon's going to. Okay, he's not going to crack. Yeah, yeah. So Amon's on 18 life, 17 life it looks like. Amon's on 17, and Cody's on 3? Is that 3? No, that is not. They're not using those. They're not using the dice, uh, okay. Amon just fetched, so he's going to go down a total of 1 life. Amon's at 17. He's been using the dice. Because uh, Cody's been hitting two him. fetches. Cody's hit him with a Revoker oh, and Bob he? last turn, I believe. So Deed with no mana open. Um... So we're going to draw a card. It's a Wasteland, so... It's Pretty good be... for the Savannah. So I think right here it's kind of awkward for Cody because he can't really play anything. Like, he's got Pack Rat, but he can't play it because Deed. He can Wasteland the Savannah and force Iman to have to pay two mana to blow the board up, but... Which is fine because then he plays Pack Rat. Pack Rat's token okay. seems Caesar 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Or Pat 2 because Pack Rat calls 2. Right. So, well, Cody so, doesn't want to play the Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Turn. He has to force Iman to blow the board. Okay, so this turn he's forcing him that he has to tap out. I, th I believe Cody there should have pumped his Revoker. Just to get the damage in? Because, like, Iman's forced to blow up his own man, so it's not like he's going to use those counters for anything, and the GT is about to go away, so he should have just pumped it to get more damage in. Attack for one. So he's going to attack for one. He's going to blow Deed for two? No, he's not going to do that. See, the problem is, like, he's got so many turns, I think it's going to be very difficult for Cody to actually deal lethal. Because he's going to attack here. He's going to blow Deed for two. Uh, Cody will probably gain four life in the process, or a maybe six. six life. Okay, so blow deed for two. Cody goes up six, so Cody, he's going to go to 21. Cody's going to gain the life. Uh, that death right should be in the graveyard. I uh, really hope somebody puts that. Okay, there we okay, go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this Pack is Iman's first time playing mana. the deck, so. Okay. So Pack Rat with activations open. Activate. Here we go. Man, Here's so the we clock. Have four power. What, uh, do we know what turn we're in? I, I don't, we, they may not no, be they, in turns. They, they're not extended. in turns yet. They have. Uh, okay. Probably about a minute left. So it looks like Cody might just run away with yeah, this one. He's going to make two more pack rats. He's going to hit for eight. He's got lethal on board. 
Iman is going to need a Hail Mary. Okay. Oh, it's, it's game over. over. Okay. Cody Moran with the gate. The gate is Dispatches. 1-0 now. Of they has won the, ma the Iman. match. Iman is okay. normally on some kind of Deathblade, just good stuff yeah, deck. Yeah, yeah. When I heard and, he was on Nickfoot, I was a little surprised. And well, I see uh, a couple weeks ago, I played him with this deck, and uh -huh. I just deeded him multiple times. So I think he might want to try it out, see if it's something he wants to maybe buy into, trade into. Because it's, it's a good deck. To, I think it's powerful. I think it's a very fun deck. I... I've played it at different various times a lot, and I believe it's a very fun deck, and it's powerful, especially in a local metagame. It's got a lot, like, you have a lot of options to kind of tune. Yeah, that's the best Star part. In Star City, I wouldn't necessarily want to play it, oh, just no. because it's underpowered, but... I think in a Star City, if you have the cards, you just play like a Deathblade, just be the best thing you can. But around here, you get to... Yeah, yeah, it's I a mean, Evan's deck. playing a um, Diabolic Intent, which is a Sacrifice tutor. Sacrifice a creature, Demonic Tutor, yeah. Uh, what are you on tonight, Mr. Hagen? Elves. Elves? Oh, I was... Really hoping for Junstorm. Yeah, we have no. Uh, if you guys want to see Junstorm, I need you to follow and message us. Just get to Brendan and say, Brendan, bring back the storm. storm. I want the Junstorm. So, guys, also find him Russian, Russian Infernal Tutors. He has one, so you need three more. So we are. Looks like we're between. <laughs> we're between matches. We're between rounds. So as soon as we have pairings, we'll get up. Uh, we're going to bring it up. We're going to bring you back to looking at our gorgeous faces. Oh, please, God. Yeah. There we go. So, yeah. So, I kind of want to break this open right now. I mean, I want to run out the door with it. But, yeah, it's like a booster pack, except Dude, Evan you're guaranteed got, Evan got value. a deal on this thing. $160, $160. for a candelabra. $165 that was, that was, that was what he paid for impressive, this. the way you just, like, yeah. yeah we have I, didn't, I didn't realize you guys weren't going into turns, so. We were in turns. Oh, you were in turns? Like turn two, so. You won on turn two? Okay. All right, pairings are up for round two. Pairings so are up, so find out our matchup here. As soon as producer Morgan gets us our matchup, we're gonna we're gonna type it in here and get us rolling. So, hey, hey, no texting, ladies. Uh, we're busy here. Yeah, I know. Oh. 